Tiny 11 was released just a couple of days ago, more specifically on 2nd of February. And if you don't know what Tiny 11 is, it's just a custom Windows ISO which can run on low end systems because the minimum system requirements are only 2 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal storage. TPM and secure boot checks were also removed in this Tiny 11 ISO, so you don't need to have them. In this video, I'll go through installation of Tiny 11 Windows in virtual machine using VMware Workstation. Then I'll show you some features of this custom ISO or the features which were removed from original Windows 11 ISO. And at the end of the video, I'll talk about the potential drawbacks of using Tiny11 ISO. With that said, leave a like down below, get subscribed and let's get started. So if you want to install this Tiny11 custom Windows image on your system or your virtual machine, you will need first to get the ISO file. So here on this website, which I will also put link in video description down below. You can go here to download options and here you have two options basically. One is direct link to the ISO image and the other one is basically the torrent link which will help you get the ISO file. And this custom Tiny11 Windows image is made by NTDev who also made previous Tiny release which was based on Windows 10. Here at the bottom you can also support the developer of this custom ISO on this link right here. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it for the ISO file. Now let's go straight to the VMware workstation. For the purposes of this video, I will make a custom virtual machine, which will use the minimum requirements only for this custom Tiny11 ISO. Here on the left, I will right click and select here new virtual machine. I will click next and here I will select browse to select this Tiny11B1 ISO. Here I will click open and you, you can already see that VMware Workstation actually detected Windows 11. Here I will click next. I will name this virtual machine Windows 11 Tiny. And here I will select the location to the browse. This PC local disk C. Here I will create a new folder, make new folder. And I will call it VM underscore and Tiny. Click OK and now let's go next. Here you will need to enter the password for encryption, but later in the video I will also remove this encryption for the trusted platform module. So here I will enter the password from 1 to 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we can just repeat this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's click next. Here I will select maximum disk size to 10 gigabytes and I will store virtual disk as a single file here. Let's click next here. Now we can also customize the hardware. So I will uncheck power on this virtual machine after creation and now I will click customize hardware. For the memory, I will select the minimum requirements, so two gigabytes. And now for the processors, I will put this one to two and number of cores to four. And I think this is pretty much it here. I will click close click finish. Now before we start this virtual machine, I will right click on this virtual machine and then select here settings. I will remove the trusted platform module and I will also go here to the options to the advanced and here I will select BIOS here. Click OK and now we can start this virtual machine. I'll just go here to the full screen and now we can see what's actually happening with this custom Tiny11 ISO. Now here we have the setup screen of the Tiny11 custom Windows ISO. Here I will put everything to default and click next. I will accept the Microsoft agreement and here I will just press next and install Tiny11 ISO. Here I will continue the setup process, which I believe is the same as the original Windows 11 ISO. And now we are in the Tiny11 custom ISO system right now. So if I go to the start and search for WinVer, 
then if I run this command, we can see that we are on the latest Windows 11 release, which is 22H2. And now if we take a look at the settings and the updates. So indeed here you can also install all of the updates, which are also part of the original Windows 11. So you can install all of them here on this custom ISO. I think this is great, but one thing which is quite impressive is that if you go here to the file explorer, you can see on how much lower storage this custom ISO can actually run. So I have here virtual machine with 10 gigabytes of internal storage, but we can also see here that it's almost completely full. And so basically 10 gigabytes is every single thing that you get here. So if I would install this from fresh, I would recommend you guys, for example, if you have half a terabyte of disk, one terabyte or something like that, this would be actually quite plenty. Now, if we take a look at the task manager, here we are using currently 62% of memory, which I think it's okay. And the CPU is also running only at 5%. Remember, we are not doing updates or something like that in the background, hopefully. If we would take a look at the Windows security, we also have here Windows Defender. So if you would like to, you can also enable core isolation here and enable this memory integrity settings. So security wise, I think this is also great because Windows Defender wasn't removed from this custom ISO. And the strange thing is that you can't actually search on the web with this ISO. So there is no browser. So basically Microsoft Edge browser was removed from this ISO. So the point how I would actually install a browser is to go basically to Microsoft Store and for example, install Firefox from here. So if you would search for Firefox, you would get this browser from Microsoft Store because you can't actually search on the web with this stock image. Let's take a look at the apps which are actually pre-installed on this system. So if you go here to the apps, installed apps, we can see that there are not many. So we have calculator, camera, Microsoft photos, Microsoft store, Teams, Notepad, and so and so on. So only the essentials, I believe. There is no map, there is no like painter, there is no Xbox services or something like this. And I think, yeah, you actually don't need Xbox services. So this is completely fine. Microsoft snipping tool is here. Just install the browser and then you can basically start using this custom ISO, which I think it's great. This is pretty much it for the features of this custom Windows ISO. Now let's take a look at some of the drawbacks. The main drawback of using custom Windows image is of course the security risk. Developer is already getting some backslash on Twitter. He states, apparently now I'm a state actor that redirects Microsoft's telemetry data through my own servers. And people in the comments trying to unveil my nefarious plan of stealing everyone's data while committing piracy and bankrupting Microsoft. This is all understandable, but the main question still remains. Are you willing to sacrifice piece of security for better performance? I mean, the thing that you can actually run Windows 11 on only 10 gigabytes of internal storage and two gigabytes of RAM on its own is pretty amazing. So would you guys install Tiny11? Let me know in the comment section down below. With that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. If you enjoyed it, like the video and subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. And while you are down there, make sure that you support the developer of Tiny11 on Patreon as well. Link will be in video description. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.